All right. Now let's uh, let me ask you another question. What would be the minimal rate of change? When I go in the direction perpendicular to this one, right? What's the projection? It's zero, right? So in this direction, in the perpendicular direction, I have basically no change. The rate of change is zero, means no change, right? But, you know, what if I go this way? What if I go backward with respect to that vector? What's going to be the component? It's going to be negative, isn't it? Although geometrically we will see this projection as an interval and it will have length. That length should be considered negative. And that's just one of many, many examples when geometrically we disregard the sign. We lose the sign, we treat things positively all the time and we suffer from that. We don't recognize that this way the rate of change is negative and if you go in exactly the opposite direction, right, then this projection will be negative that long. Right? So the minimal rate of change is going to be negative magnitude of this vector. And that rate of change happens in the direction opposite to the vector. Well, it's quite obvious thing if you travel, uh, if you walk in mountains, right? If you stand somewhere there and you face the top of the hill and you know direction there is the steepest way to go, right? The rate of change is the maximal there. What is going to be the minimal rate of change? Exactly the same. Like, Oh, exactly okay. backwards, right? Yeah, right? If I go left or right, because you would be increasing in height or decreasing in height. Okay, well, yes, when I ask for minimum, that means I thought you were talking about the rate of change. Well, yes, so the things can be interpreted differently. Again, depending on the sign, right? If I ask you uh, what is greater minus one or 0.5. Which number is greater? 0.5, five, right? Right. So any positive number is greater than negative number. So which is the minimal number among these two? Negative one. Negative one. Right, so we take care of the sign when we decide minimum, maximum. So when I talk about maximal rate of change, it means maximal positive, and it will be positive. When I talk about minimal, I mean possibly negative and minimal negative. So that's exactly the meaning I, I, I had. So I don't mean minimum of absolute value of rate of change, okay? I mean, if you can decrease, decrease. If you can decrease faster, decrease faster. What is the fastest way you can decrease? All right, and, and that means if I face the top of the hill, the fastest way to decrease will be go backward. Right, and if I go left or right, I will not have any change. So that's the direction of no change. All right, good, good thing you asked because that's just another another way of losing the meaning of sign. All right, you think about absolute values and and things get different meanings. Uh, well, I, I'm not ready to get to the point of explaining why you have to stay with negative signs. We will get there. It will be very essential eventually to stay with the sign, to treat things with positive and negative, and to well never lose it. But at this point, well. It's so easy that you can, you can stay or you can lose it. Uh, 